لبيك اللهم لبيك لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك إن الحمد والنعمة لك والملك لا شريك لك These are the days of Eid. Make takbir wherever you are. These are the days of Eid. Allahu Akbar. These are the days of Eid. Sing together, everyone. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back, children. Today's story time is a Hajj story. Two pigeons on a pilgrimage. It is written by Rabia Bashir and illustrated by Aisha Deen. Let's begin. Two determined pigeons are ready to face a test. With a bismillah, they spread their wings and leave behind their nest. What are you thinking, Hafa? I wish I can fly with the pigeons. Wow! Wow, Hafa! You're in the story! Let's take a journey with the pigeons and the pilgrims. They begin at the busy airport with pilgrims from far and wide. Glowing faces call to Allah. On their bodies, ihrams are tied. Two patient pigeons, seven times, circle around the Kaaba. The ant-like pilgrims walk below, completing a part of their umrah. Then, facing the Kaaba, they pray behind Ibrahim's station remembering the Prophet and the trials in his mission. What is Ibrahim Station? Ibrahim Station, also called Maqam Ibrahim, is the spot where Prophet Ibrahim stood whilst building the Kaaba with his son Ismail. It is also believed to be the spot where he spoke to the people of his community when teaching them about Islam. Two thirsty pigeons perch, watching Safa and Marwa. Back and forth pilgrims go, sipping Zamzam water. What is Safa and Marwa? Good question, Hafa. Safa and Marwa are two mountains that Hajar salam went around in search of the water. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala liked this action so much that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gifted her the fountain of Zamzam. The Umrah is now complete. The pigeons move with the crowd. Thanking Allah for his help, so far, they say Alhamdulillah out loud. Two grateful pigeons light up when they face an awesome sight. A sprawling city in Mina, made of tents glistening in white. What is Mina? It is the city in Mecca where pilgrims stay for three days. Men settle in many tents, while women go in others. They read, pray, and reflect, and children sit with their mothers. Two hopeful pigeons in Arafat, watching pilgrims stand. The breeze carries a million duas while people raise their hands. What is Arafat? Arafat is the mountain where pilgrims stand making dua. After sunset, the pigeons fly to a place called Muzdalifa, where pilgrims pick small sandy stones and sleep under the stars. What is Muzdalifa? It is an area of flat land near Mecca where pilgrims go on the evening of 9th of Zul Hijjah to collect pebbles, stones, and sleep in the open. Two nervous pigeons back in Mina with surging crowds below. Stones fly towards Shaitan as far as the pilgrims can throw. With the first Rami complete, Qurbani takes place straight after. Then hair is cut, ihrams removed, and showers of cold, cool water. What is Rami? Rami is the stoning of the devil. Two joyful pigeons, with hearts so happy, spread their wings to embrace. Pilgrims hug and exchange smiles. It's Eid! They celebrate. In their finest clothes and wearing perfume, pilgrims return to Mecca. They perform tawaf, then sa'i, between Safa and Marwa. What is Sa'id? It is the running between Safa and Marwa. Two anxious pigeons go back to Mina along with crowds the next day. Stones are thrown at three pillars this time as they hover out of the way. A day or two later, exhausted but happy, they are back with women, children, and men. Pilgrims bid the Kaaba farewell, praying to visit again. Two pigeons at peace fly back home, feeling pure and new. They have missed their family oh so much, who have missed them so much too. Hajj Mabrur, which means accepted Hajj. That's all for today. Assalamu alaikum.
Hey everyone, this book also includes a glossary of Islamic terms, some great activities, and Hajj diagram. To check out more stuff from Bismillah Bees, please visit www.bismillahbees.com. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And also, like our page Tasgir Unlimited on Facebook. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. His father's dream, ready to lay down his life. The ultimate sacrifice Standing on the plains of Arafat